So now we need to work on our roof. We're going to go to the materials window and open it. Again, all the materials that are in the model are here located under the little home button. If we go to the right to the magnifying glass, this is where we can find other types of textures. In here, I'm going to be looking for something that looks like, like some roofing. So here we have roofing. And in here are shingles and different style of shingles that you might have on a roof. There's a shingle, maybe some slate tile like that. You could do this and say, oh, I'm done. But reality is, is that this does not look like a roof. You would never have shingles coming over the edge like this, nor would you have anything here on the front. This siding from the wall needs to go up into the front. So we're going to have to do a little editing here. And you can see that when you click a group and you fill it, it fills with the shingle everywhere and we don't want that and this time I'm gonna go into the group and now I have a lot more control over the surfaces that I put my shingles on normally the fascia is painted this is usually wood this front part here that's wood and even the eave is wood so I'm just gonna leave that white for now now I need to turn the open gable part the wood siding is going to continue up into the peak. So to do that, I'm going to have to go back to my siding menu. So here I am in my siding menu. So I need to go to here and find that nice wood siding and I'm going to add it here. Now I'm going to go up into the colors and see if I can find a color that might look good. And I think what I'm going to do is just take the time to close this group and see how it all fits together. Now, here the siding isn't doing too bad of a job of lining up. So there are some adjustments that could be made here so that this fits better. What's kind of hard is you don't get to really see um, the how it would work. So let's see. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do texture and position because it looks like it needs to be moved over just a little bit. So I'm going to select that, right click. Remember you just want to select the surface. You don't want to be selecting the lines. Go to texture, go to position and now let's try and maybe what we need to do is just move this over a hair. Now it is really hard to do when you can't see. So I'm going to hit enter and let's see if that worked out a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Anyway, it probably isn't going to be terribly noticeable for most people. I think that this white fascia looks kind of funny with my house. I mean, it's not too bad, but maybe I could find another color that would look good. So there we go. So now this looks a lot more co cohesive. And so that's how you would handle doing the roof.